noise right now because I'm somewhere uh, a bit far from him as I'm recording this. So to begin with, you're going to start with the basics of support and resistances. Now, let me just show you this like that, okay? And then I'll draw another line down at the bottom, okay? So the basics of support and resistances is that price will be bouncing from one zone to another uh, a few or a couple of times before proceeding in the opposite direction or in the same direction breaking the zone. Now remember that resistances are underlined at the top. So, so let's write it down here. This is a resistance area and then support areas are underlined at the bottom. Okay, so we find support at the bottom and resistance at the top. Okay, let's keep this in mind. Remember, I said we're going to look at the markets as though we were beginners. All right. So in this lesson, I want you to, to focus on this. When you see price movement at a resistance, so let's say price is coming from support, going to resistance, right? Obviously not moving entirely straight but it will be doing this, okay? Breaking structure to the upside until it reaches the resistance area. So once price reaches the resistance area, it will most likely drop, okay? Which, will, which is what we call a retracement. And hence, when price begins to retrace back to support, we begin to use or we, we look to use our Fibonacci retracement tool to detect how far that retracement will go because not always will price go back down to support but somewhere along the way it will stop and go back to resistance and test resistance a few times before it actually drops either down to support or breaks above the resistance so I want you guys to remember this okay so, the more touches price has on an area of resistance or an, on an area of support, for example, okay, the more touches we have on a support area, we can say that that area will soon be tested again or and broken, actually, because this means that this area has a lot of trades open, okay, a lot of trades, stop losses, uh, take, uh, take profit targets, uh, a lot of open positions, a lot of limit orders, and so on. So this area is an important area of liquidity, okay? Liquidity basically just means it's an area where uh, a lot of traders are active, okay? And then what happens is price will, no will normally respect this area of support or resistance due to the many touches it has, but eventually, eventually gaining strength to take out that area. So I want you guys to bear, I want you guys to put that in mind, okay? I want you guys to put that in mind. So this is a bas basic uh, explanation, an easy explanation for you guys to understand uh, what support and resistances are or mean before we proceed. And remember that in the context of this video, or in this video, we're basically, I'm basically explaining to you uh, in a way that you are going to be able to understand or comprehend the upcoming videos in this series, okay? So this is the way you should be looking at support and resistances if you are going to trade with us in the long run, all right? All right, I hope to see you in the next video. Take care.